Hey everyone, thanks for checking out this video. If this is your first time to the channel, thanks for stopping in. Uh, my name's Bobby, this is MTB Over 40. This is all about a journey. Me and my 40s, getting on and staying on a mountain bike and everything that encompasses it, it's a journey. And so I invite you along if you're like me, you're just getting started in your mountain bike journey or you're middle-aged and wanna know what in the world's going on and how to do all this stuff and just want to see someone else trying and failing at the same thing, <laughs> then you're at the right point. You're at the right channel. So thanks for stopping in. Okay, so what are we talking about today? Well, this is not going to be a very long video. Uh, it's, it's very simple. I crashed a couple weeks ago wearing my GoPro like I usually do. I use the Max Lens Mod, the GoPro Max Lens Mod, and it scraped the crap out of it. Unfortunately, GoPro doesn't make a lens protector for the lens mod. So yeah, it just got scraped up and I contacted customer service. Being in uh, a GoPro ambassador has some of its perks and they were very gracious to replace it for free, but it's a long process. It takes weeks because you got to send the old unit back They've got to do the whole COVID quarantine thing with it, and then they send you another one. And it, last time I did this with my actual GoPro 9 camera, it took like three weeks. So I've got stuff to film. I can't wait that long. So I decided I'm gonna take this opportunity and try out the Amazon knockoff. So just real quick, this is, this is what the normal GoPro actual lens mod box looks like and the knockoff from Amazon looks pretty close. It's, it's not far off. It just doesn't say GoPro on it. Um, you can pick it up for like a little bit over 60 bucks, I think. So you save like almost 40 bucks and I wanted to try it out and see, is it that good? Is it, can it stand up to the regular lens mod? I actually have an, another GoPro lens mod. Um, I went ahead and bought it um, because I wanted to do this comparison. And, you know, it's this this really tiny, you know, probably can't see it, uh, see it in the camera. But anyway, um, it's, you know, it's, it's a tiny lens. It's very well made, very sturdy. The rubber protector around it is very nice. When you get the knockoff, you kind of already can tell like the rubber isn't, it's, it's a lot more squishier. Um, it's not as thick. It doesn't seem like it would protect the lens as much because it's not as thick and not as hard. And so, you know, if it somehow, you know, if you have the protector over it in transport or something like that, and, you know, something hit against it, I mean, this, this, this rubber plastic just isn't, isn't very sturdy or very, you know, firm. So I feel like it would probably, you know, may do something to the lens, not protect it as well. But, you know, hey, you're saving money, so, you know, something's got to give, right? When I took it out on the trails, um, that was the real telling about how this, the Amazon knockoff lens really works. I'm going to show some footage, and you can see right off the bat. So, the, the first off, I'll just show me going down a trail to jump line with the, the actual GoPro lens mod. And you can see it's normal holds up pretty well, uh, looks pretty good. And you've seen this on a lot of my videos, all right? So, but let's move over to the actual knockoff lens mod. And you can probably tell right off the bat, as soon as I start going, there's this like jello-y effect. You can see it all the way through it. It's, uh, it's, yeah, it's not very good. I don't know, I don't understand the mechanics of the lens mod and the GoPro and how it, works all its thing and I don't, I, it looks like it there's there might be some communication between the lens and the camera so maybe the communication with the knockoff uh, isn't as good or it doesn't tell you as much information or tell the camera as much information I don't know but uh, as you can tell you can see from the footage it doesn't look good at all so basically all of this in a nutshell I just wanted to share this information with you if you're thinking about buying the knockoff lens mod from Amazon just know it's not going to perform as well. You're going to get some jelly effect. It's not going to hold up as well, in my opinion. It's not going to give you the same quality that you expect from a GoPro. And I know you're going to save money. I know you'll save like 40 bucks or something like that. But honestly, 
it's not really worth it. It's not worth what you're saving. You want your image to look good. You've already spent four or 500. You're gonna spend another 60. You might as well spend the extra 40, pay the 100 bucks, get the lens mod, the actual GoPro lens mod, and just know that you're gonna get great image quality. So, I hope that helps you. Like I said, this is gonna be a quick video. <laughs> so much. That's all I wanted to do because I felt like that was important enough because I wanted to try it and I didn't know if anybody else, I didn't really see anybody else using it. So I just wanted to go ahead and throw that out there. Um, hope you got something out of it. If there's another alternative or you've used something else other than what you find on Amazon that works as well, hey, leave me a comment in the comment section. I would love to hear from you. But uh, yeah. That's it. If you have any questions, please leave those in the comments as well. I'll be happy to get back to you uh, as soon as I can. If you want to follow along the journey, please do so. Give it a like and subscribe. I would love for you to, to be a part of it. And But until the next time, hey, live, learn, and send it. It's never too late to start. We'll see you next time.